Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a package from Original Goat, the makers of fine scales, fine custom scales. Last time I got a package from Original Goat, uh, it was these beautiful uh, paramilitary two scales for my warning PM2, and uh, it was a nightmare. It was a whole nightmare. I had a meltdown on camera installing these. It's not the scales' fault. It was my fault. The scales are just pair two, or yeah, uh, PM2 scales. So I'll take the heat for that one. So, uh, this is a big box. I don't know what in the world Marty and the folks at OG have in store, but we're gonna find out. That's right, OG Scales. It's late on a Saturday. This is what I do. You know, some people go out drinking, partying, having a good time at the bar with their friends. Me? No, 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 no. I open boxes and tear knives apart and usually injure myself. That's a good Saturday for me. So let's pop this on. Let's pop this on. Again, it's a big box. Cole, that's my name. OG patch for my new uh, 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 data crew pouch. Sick. Stuff? What? Stuff? Stuff? What? Stuff? There's two th there's two there's two things into that and to go away and go away Noth uh, nothing left in the box goodbye Yeesh. Uh, coal it just says coal is there anything else ooh ooh Marty's been using that fountain pen baby coal enclosed you'll find a few knives that you and or Kara had been asking about to make up for how long it took me to send them out there's a surprise in here for you too enjoy your friend Marty Marty love you man thank you dude PS there's a note at the bottom with some specs and info Martin Martin what's going on here Bob what do I open first? This is at the bottom. This was on top. Is this a knife? Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! 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 Holy shit! Wow! There's three knives. Ooh! <laughs> what? Bruh! Bruh! Marty, a long time ago, sent me a whole fart load of knives to review. Uh, and it's been a while since I've had anything in for Marty. Martin, you dirty dog. Ooh, I'm gonna zoom in. We got three knives. I'll get to these in a minute. We have the giant mouse Nazca. I've always wanted to check this out with an aftermarket clip on it. Beautiful titanium axis lock. The Nazca's sick. It's probably the coolest looking giant mouse. I had a biblio. I didn't love it. Ooh, ooh, look at that. It's just such an aggressive little guy. Nice little brass backspacer here. Really smooth, jimping way out here in the middle of the blade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels great in the hand. Feels good. Full tie. Smooth opening, too. Thumb stud only. Very, very, very nice looking knife. Ergo's in hand. Choke back. Feels great. Thumb on that jimping. Money. You can't, no real finger choil, but it's a small knife. So this, I feel fine right here. Love this blade shape. Don't know what to call it, but I love it. Nice satin ground uh, M390. M390. Yes, M390 on there. Oof, that's clean. Oh. Oh, so smooth. Action is money. Super snappy. Reverse flick. Great. That's smooth, dude. Wow, I'm assuming this has been broken in. I'm assuming Marty's broken this in. Uh, Knife Eclectic, by the way, on Instagram, here on YouTube as well. Hit him up. I'll leave links down in the description for you. I'm immediately impressed. Immediately impressed. This knife's been around for a while, but I just, I've never checked one out. All right, before we go too far, action's incredible. Really impressed by that. We got the mini, we got the mini Chris Reeves. Is this a Sabinza? I've never had a Sabinza on the channel. I have my... CRK Large and Cozy and Singo. I love it. This, yeah, Sabenza single stud. Just OG. Well, pun intended. Plain Jane. Full tie. Love the size. Ooh, with the Tonto, baby. Look at that. Hollow ground. S. 
45, S35, future me, tell me what kind of steel this is. Such a class, it's a classic. What do you, how are you not going to love this? Really love the size for EDC. Really lightweight, thin, ergos, feels great. It's a crystal, it's a Sabenza. It's a small Sabenza. It's just like the cleanest little guy. Ooh, action is money. What? As I fail it, feels good. Oh, glassy smooth. Very nice detent. Super thin blade, crown spine. A lovely little piece. Could do without the dingleberry, but maybe that's just me. Oh, yeah. That Chris Reeves clip, which I'm... It works really well. I just don't like the way it looks on such an expensive knife. You know what I mean? Very nice. Wow, okay. All right. Okay, bro. Okay. Sub mini, uh, small Sabenza. TW Price. What is this called? Future Me, what's this called? TW Price is the name of the designer, but I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I've wanted to check one of these out for a while too. Long overdue. Beautiful. Uh, full titanium frame lock. A little purple highlight there. All this textured milling all over the handle. Beautiful. Little, uh, is it TW Price? JR Price? Future Me. I, I forget everything about this. It's been so long. Beautiful. Love the size too. I love this size for EDC. Uh, uh, smaller than a pair of three. A little bit bigger than the rock wall. Excellent. Very gorgeous. Centering's money. Hidden hardware on the pocket clip. Mill titanium pocket clip. Love that. Front flipper. And we have grooves here for deployment. Reverse flick. Great action. Oh my god. The action's unreal. Thumb flick. Sure. Wow. Front flipper. Wow, holy crap. Who's making these? Future me. Who made these? I forget. This knife's been out a while too and I've never... Oh my god, that is so impressive. Ergo's in hand. Feels great. No hot spots, no pinch points. Feels great. Jimping back here, but right there, thumb on the spine. Feels really good. Super thin blade stock. Really nice. Finger choil, choke way up. Great. Pinch grip? All day. All day. We gotta do a pinch grip test on all these. Pinch grip? All day? How about another one? Pinch grip? Cash money. No gripes. Yeah, this thing... Is this the Dawn? I think it's the Dawn. Future me would have told you by now. I can't get over how smooth that action is. That's absurd. Running on a set of ceramic bearings. Oh, acoustics? Acoustics? Clicky. Clacky goodness i'm so impressed i don't know why I, it's taken me so long that's a very nice knife i'm genuinely impressed with that i think he has a new knife coming out too uh links to all three of these down below marty thank you let's cut something the giant mouse nazca oh yeah oh yeah baby all day nice tall flat grind m390 it is italian m390 so we shall see we shall see the uh chris reeve oh oh yeah that hollow grind thin blade stock well i'm struggling because it's late and i'm excited but it comes it's a chris reeve what do you, what do you want what do you want from me what do you want from me okay money i'm assuming marty actually uses these knives so i'm not too concerned with the edge it's not like i'm judging a factory edge here and what about what about that uh, TW Price, JR, TR, whatever this is called? Oh, is that a damn near full flat ground? Hand rubbed satin finish on that too. Not sure the blade steel future me blade steel on this one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, money. 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 All oh, three. Three bangers. Marty, thank you, dude. Links to Marty's stuff down, down below in the description. Hit him up. Now let's get to the OG stuff right quick. Why not? What is this? What is it? What do we got here? What have you done? Do not, I repeat, do not hit these with a hammer. Don't do it, Cole. Just say no. Okay. All right, Marty, don't yell at me, man. Okay. And there's this. Is this info on the knives? Of course he told me. What do you got here? <gasps> okay, Giant Mouse Nazca, TW Price, version one, Dawn. That's what this is called. Future me, you're welcome. Made by Best Tech, full tie, M390 blade. Beautiful. And this is the S35. This is the Sabenza 31 and S35VN. 
Revis Christ, hollow be thy grind, blessings be. And then the Nazca M390, made by Best Tech. That's why I like it so much, so it's not Italian M390, it's Best Tech M390. So I'm here for it. I did not know these were made by Best Tech. That's explains a lot, honestly. God, that's good. Only mod is the Lynch clip. Don't be afraid to really give it some gas on the open. Dude, I don't even need to. Opens its damn self. It almost feels uh, assisted. Like, kind of. In a weird way. Alright, sweet. Thank you, Marty. Uh, deck of E1. Okay. Alright, so luckily I don't have to do a scale swap today, but... Ooh, the color, dude! Bruh. I love OG scales. If you don't have a pair of OG scales, go buy you some. These are for the DECA... Oh my god, Marty, what? These are for the DECA V1. I have one of those. I do have to do a scale swap today. Oh my sweet good... Look at these under the light. What? Do they glow in the dark? Hello? No, they're just like... Intense, deep, dark, rich purple with the green splatter on there. Beautiful. Machined aluminum. So these are for my DECA V1, which... Which is right here. The issue with the DECA V1 is it has about a million screws. Count them, count them with me, folks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 screws. So I'm going to do a separate video doing the scale swap. And then I'll, I'll probably just edit it all together. All right. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's get frisky, dude. I'm going to put all these safely away so I do not injure them in the process of swapping these scales because something tells me is going to be is going to be a nightmare. Something tells me. Lulz. You know, I'm scared. i, I got to be honest with you. got to be honest with you, I'm scared. Because I I hurt myself the last time, Marty. That can go safely down there, out and away. Oh, look at these. God, look at these scales. Oh, my God. Okay. I should have just bought a deck of V2 and saved myself the hassle. Are these T10s? Or are they just really weird looking T8s? They're all T8s. Okay. Let us start, excuse me. Let us start with the loosening of all the screws, breaking of them. Okay. Okay. This is an absurd amount of screws, by the way. This is too many. Like, is it... <laughs> This is far too many screws. 14. 14 screws, Hogue. I'm glad they changed this on the V2. I've just been too too much of a lazy bones to uh, get my act together. Whoops. I'm already throwing stuff, dude. I'm excited. I'm genuinely excited. I'm kind of pumped about this. All right, let's get you the F out of there, sir. Um, off. Off, please. Offums. Offums. Gonna sit here, break it. For Christ's sake. There you go. Okay, clip is off. I'm gonna zoom you in for full effect. So let's move those beauties right here, top of frame. Let's get this beautiful old Deca apart. Old, baby. Old. I like them old school, you know? This is just an absurd one. Uh oh. Two. Go over there. Get this one off. There's that one. I'm hoping I can get this thing kind of swapped out without dealing with the axis lock nonsense, tomfoolery. I just don't, I don't know. Something always happens. Something always goes wrong. Oh, pray for me. Pray for me. Captive pivot. Thank you, Hogue. Okay. All right, we have it apart for the most part. Oh, they just pop right off. Oh, bro, it's an easy swap. It's just a shitload of screws. Boom. Boom. Oh, God, these are hot, bro. Damn, I'm about to start carrying my deck a lot. I never carry it. I don't know why. Oh, my good Lord. I'm telling you, you guys need crazy scales for your favorite knives. Hit up OG scales. They just do... The gnarliest work, man. They never disappoint. And Marty and all of the team there at OG Scales are just great people. Which I'm here for. I'm sorry if this isn't funny. I am genuinely, like, pumped about these. I'm, I'm jazzed. I'm freaking jazzed, dude. In you go. 
Also, super easy teardown. Oh, shit. I'm a fool, Marty. Oh, I put the pivot back in. And I got to take it apart. I got to take it, like, all the way apart for the other side. Okay. Okay. Meh. What I want to. Oh, I don't need that screw anymore. Yay. Come. Come on the part. Don't. Just. Uh, this will be a 15 minute video of me just unscrewing things. That's it. That's the whole video. <laughs> Future me, speed this up. If it gets boring, just speed it up. It'll be fine. Double speed. Double time, baby. All right. Get the last one out. Jesus Lord, help me. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at, look at that. I mean, criminy. Oh, and the screws kind of just disappear into the beautiful scenery. I'm a big fan. I'm a big freaking fan, dude. Did you guys make these specially for me? Just lie to me in the comments, Marty, and tell me you did. Thanks. Thanks so much. I greatly appreciate it. Before? after oh nine day bro nine day big fan and it's got really nice texturing on it too oh they do the lore's work i'll tell you you know i tell you what okay that's basically off um <sighs> basically being the operative word here basically okay so now i gotta get oh will that just pop right out all right, pray for me. A pencil? I bet you this pencil will work. Hey, popped right out. I do want something in there to hold everything in, in place because I don't want the whole thing falling apart on me. These little uh, dingle bops here. Boop, there you go. There's my pivot and that comes off. I'm pretty much a genius, uh, you know? Don't ever question my abilities. No hammers needed. Oh, I'm a happy boy. Okay. So let me get let me get a couple of these boys in back in town, back in here. The boys are back in town. In you go. In you go. Thank you. And where's the other big one? There it is. Oh, these are so cool. Mesmerizing. The beauty. The majesty. Not my pencil. The beauty. Whoop. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. I honestly, dude. Way easier than a spider co. Even with the the bajillion screws. Just time consuming. I'm cool with that. Alright. Now you, uh, you, 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 you. How's this? How's this gonna work here? Oh no. Oh, don't do it. Ha! Ah! Pivots in. Yes. <laughs> Dude, this is so much easier than a spider co. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I over tightened the piss out of it, but that's okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Pocket clip needs to go back in. Back in you go, Mr. Clip. It, sir? Sir, 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 and or madam. Those pocket clip screws are taut. Very tight. Very. Get. Don't. Stop. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, we're in there, baby. Sorry, I had to pull off camera there for a second. Didn't want to injure myself. Didn't want to injure the kniff. Oh. Bro. OG scales. What can I say? They've never let me down. Oh, yeah. I'll be carrying the deck a lot more. Marty, thank you, man. Thank you. I'm overjoyed. What a way to end. I'm going to bed right after this. I'm, I might be too amped up to go to bed after this, honestly. Stunner. V1. Pimped out. I'm jazzed. Again, I never carried it. As cool as these G10 scales are, G Mascus, whatever they call it. I mean, look at these. What can I say? They're incredible. Tolerances are excellent. Fit and finish is amazing. I'm telling you, they do. Now I got to dial in the action, but we'll get there. Oh, yeah. All day now. All day. I'm going to have to put a fresh edge on her. And I'll be carrying this beauty around. Keep an eye on Instagram. Pictures of everything. Full reviews on the other three knives. 
Marty, not uh, original goat, whoever, everybody involved, anybody and everybody. Amazing. Leave a comment down below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs down. If I'm, if you think I'm an idiot, let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe if you're not already. But that is it for me. I'm jazzed. I'm pumped. Long video, but worth it. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.